John Doyle's still a scumbag? What is he up to? Today is Thursday. This presumably would have... Oh, yeah. I wanted to talk about this. Oh, this is great. We can just do this video. This is fantastic. This is great. We'll just use this video. Okay, yeah, so this is great. Guys, remember when a guy called George Floyd died? Remember that? Do you remember? Do you remember? It's a small, little-known event. Some of you might remember, the older ones, okay? Because this happened like two and a half months ago. Well, listen, folks, why did people get so mad that George Floyd died? I'll answer the question for you. It's an answer that I know because I'm not really, really dumb. So it wasn't just because George Floyd was black. It was because George Floyd was, let's get a number of things together here, black, killed by police in a viral video that showed the police wildly mishandled the situation, and the murderer of George Floyd was not immediately arrested, and additionally, there was a massive media buzz of people defending the death of George Floyd. So, so there we go. Thumb. I didn't want to use my fucking thumb. I wanted to use my fingers. So those are why. Those are the things. Those are the things that uh, led to... There are more reasons? Yeah, there are probably more. It gets into it, but those are fundamentally the reasons why... The George Floyd protests ramped up. Now, conservatives have got you. Did you know, liberals, did you know that sometimes black people kill white people too? <sighs> well, if that was true, that would destroy the narrative, wouldn't it? Because people... When people got mad at George Floyd, it was because they believed that the only type of killing that could happen was when white people killed black people. So evidence that a black person could kill a white person, that would, I mean, that would undo everything. Here's John Doyle uh, with, the, with the hit. Would have been Canon Hinnant's fourth day of kindergarten. His first day was supposed to be on Monday, but Canon didn't get to experience his first day of kindergarten, and he won't get to experience his first day of first grade, and he won't get to go shopping with his mother for school supplies and watch, regretfully, as every year his list becomes filled with less colored pencils and crayons and more notebooks and binders because he actually won't. First off, this is an insane fucking appeal to emotion from the beginning. Yeah, no shit. When people die, they, they don't get to live. It's just, it's just oh man. Uh, I would, if, if, uh, I just want to say, if somebody was trying to make a call out video and they talked like this about George Floyd, I would also call them out for that. Like, George Floyd, he'll never get to have his 45th birthday. I don't know how old George Floyd was. He'll never get to see his grand. I, I have no idea. Like, it's just a weird bait to emotion. He won't get to do any of the things that we all enjoyed growing up because he had his life stolen by this man, Darius Sessoms, because he supposedly biked on the man's lawn by accident. And so Darius Sessoms approached five-year-old Cannon while he was playing outside with his sisters, and he executed him. Mm -hmm. He shot this five-year-old boy in the head point blank, mm -hmm. and the media are silent. If you no, they are not. So... This is the this is the this is the the myth that's being perpetuated by the conservatives here. So they say the media was silent. So first of all, the media doesn't report on every single murder that happens. A lot of murders happen in America. Not every single murder gets reporting. There was a viral video of George Floyd, which was a police officer killing a black guy. It wasn't just a random murder. Not every murder gets high levels of media attention. So even if the media gave this no attention, I don't think that's evidence of hypocrisy. What are we supposed to learn from this killing? Like, like what narrative is there? A fucking crazy black guy killed a white kid? Like, okay, but like, were they a cop? Like, is there any evidence of a systemic problem here? Like, what? You know, like, not every murder gets a ton of media attention. Of course, the narrative here is still a lie because this got plenty of media attention. I have heard about this um from so many media sources they're saying that like the media only reported on it like a day after like uh, like okay I, I don't know really fucking weird and what's more the guy who killed the white kid believe it or not was immediately subject to a statewide manhunt arrested and is now facing life in prison so what's there to protest here What's there what's there to protest here? You know? Like 
the system is working as it should. There was a crazy fucking murder. But that's bad. And then they were immediately arrested, and now they're never going to see the sunlight again. Like, I, I, I don't know. By the way, I want to make it perfectly clear that if it had been a black kid who was executed by a crazy white guy for riding over a lawn, if it had been the, the races reversed, A, people would be talking about how the black kid was no angel, and B, um, they, if there was any media attention given to it, they would call it politicizing and race baiting, okay? There was absolutely no consistent standard here. There was absolutely none. They would be talking about how the kid didn't die from the bullet. They died from, from the... From the, the, the uh, sugar dust, the, the, what are they called? The little sticks you twist the bit off of and you, pixie sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that, you know? The, yeah, he had COVID, he just died of COVID. The, the bullet spread the COVID-19 cells further into the body. Like, you know, it's some shit like that, you know what I mean? Try to find this story online, uh, you're only gonna find it from, like, local sources, a few conservative publications, maybe, but- Really? White kid shot by black man. Uh, New York Daily News. Here, we can get five-year-old. Here. Five-year-old kid. Shot by black. Yep. There we go. Uh, there we go. ABC Houston. Uh, News E12. CNN. Literally just CNN. Washington Post. Yeah, looking up the name of the kid would probably be best, huh? Fox News, they're still reporting on it, like, a week after the murder. Forbes, Washington Post, Fox, CNN, like, okay. All right. Okay, dude. Nice meme. Hassan is talking about me right now, okay. The mainstream media are dead silence about this story. And one of the saddest things that I read pertaining to this story was from- So as we have established, the mainstream media was in fact not dead silent on this story. The only re- So what actually happened here was the murder took place. It was a fairly unremarkable murder in that it didn't really like have any broader systemic meaning. Uh, and the media probably reported on it lightly, but then a bunch of conservatives started acting as though the fact that they weren't reporting on it means the media is only interested in reporting on black deaths and not on white deaths. And that means that uh, they have to signal boost it. So the conservative outrage on the lack of alleged media coverage um, is what drove the coverage from Fox News and what have you. The cousin of the boy's mother who said, he will never be forgotten. And I believe that she believes that, I truly do. But the reality is that Cannon will be forgotten soon i mean some of us might make a point to remember him but the reality is that two weeks from now no one's going to be talking about this story but yeah no shit what do you have any wait how many murders in u.s per year all homicides number of deaths nineteen thousand. so yeah you would have like that's like what 50 people a day um 60 people a day like yeah <laughs> quit fucking virtue signaling holy shit dude uh, like, yeah, you can remember them if you want. Like, you didn't know this kid. I don't know why you're acting that this kid's death is like a personal blow to you. It's insane how conservatives will call other people snowflakes, but then act like this. Oh, wait, 19,500. No, that's not 19,000 per 500 per 100,000. If it was, that would be 20,000 murders per 100,000 people. That would mean every year a fifth of the population is murdered. Wait. Yeah, that's that that would be a fucking genocide. That would not be That's per state. Yeah, all homicides. And then on a separate line, deaths per 100,000 population 6. There you go. But 2 weeks from now, 2 months from now, we will all still be talking about George Floyd. St. Floyd of Minneapolis, 2 years. Ooh, nice. So, George Floyd again will be talked about because he sparked a fucking uh, uh, a civil rights march. Yes, no shit. That's how it works. An asymmetrical distribution 
of attention is given to murder victims sometimes, especially when you're murdered by the fucking police. Years from two decades from now, our children will have to memorize that name for American history yep. exams. Yep. And we Stay know why mad. that is, but to the average person, that might seem a bit strange, but they probably won't question it. No, they no, the average person probably wouldn't find that strange because the average person isn't a fucking idiot and knows how asymmetrical media uh, attention works. Because people are not actually individuals. That's my favorite shit lib assumption. We what? all know some liberal whose entire personality is just, um, excuse me, are you registered to vote? Um, are you what? registered? Oh, if only more people voted. If only more people, then everything would be fine. The problem isn't more democracy. It's, it's less democracy. We what? really need all the people who haven't been interested or intelligent enough to take two minutes to register to vote. We really need them calling the shots. What? Most people do not think about things. Most people do not have agency. They do not possess the internal monologue. They basically... Is, is he having a Joker moment? What the fuck is he talking about right now? Yeah, you, you think democracy works. Look into the mind of the average... What are you talking about? This is like an unironic anti-democracy. Funny for somebody who postures as like, you know, America's greatest child. ...respond to stimuli and group conformity and then default to pursuing food, sex, and leisure. And the reason I bring this up is because the fact that there is not national outrage about this in isolation, let's not even compare it to George Why? Floyd for a second, the fact that this in itself is not getting people demanding media coverage for this story... It for one, it did. Conservatives did demand media coverage. For two, why? Why? Why does it deserve national attention? Why? What special happened here? To what, what is there to be outraged about? The murder? People die every fucking year. People aren't outraged about George Floyd's murder. They're outraged about the systemic injustice it is a part of. The mom has literally asked people to stop politicizing her son's death. Like, you're literally like, like uh, 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 Doyle over here is standing with his foot, with his boot foot atop the, the sobbing head of the mother while screaming to the rooftops about how the media not having a fucking day blackout, a, mo a day of silence on this one random child's death, who, who, for the murderer for whom was immediately fucking caught, is evidence of injustice. Indicates so much about what we talk about. Like if a five-year-old white boy can be executed in his front lawn in front of his sisters, and the mm -hmm. media won't cover it because the murderer was a black man, and as- Whoa, that's a little conspiratorial of you, my good friend. The media won't cover it because it's a black... Do you have any evidence of that? Because plenty of murders don't get covered every year. Do you have any evidence whatsoever at all that there was a lessening of media coverage because the boy was white? Or is that just something you're assuming because uh, white nationalists... He, I, I do think that he's a white nationalist, by the way. Um have a perpetual fucking victim complex, and you guys are looking for every possible opportunity to sob. Can you imagine? This is white privilege, bro. When For black people to be oppressed, they have to have the entire criminal justice system against them, which they do. For white people to be oppressed, one of the fucking uh, 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 many, many murders that happens every year uh, has to be not covered, and it's a white boy, you know? This is just something they're doing to push a race war narrative. There's nothing else to it. George, uh, uh, John, I keep saying George Floyd, John Doyle. They sound the same in my head. Um, uh, 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 Doyle over here, uh, doesn't give a fuck about this kid. He's just pushing a race war narrative. As a result, no one in this country cares. How do you ever expect to gain any ground? I mean, we have no cultural power in this country, but conservatives think that we're winning because, oh. Just the president and the Senate and Tucker Carlson, the single most watched media personality in all of American history and all of daytime television and Fox News gets better ratings than all of the other, uh, uh, uh mainstream news channels. Yeah, just no, none whatsoever. Per victim complex on these people. Holy fuck. Trump's in office, and the other day he totally owned this stupid liberal reporter. Cry more leftist. Hold, hold on, let me drink some leftist tears. Would you like to know what that is? That is a cope of astronomical proportions. They are so overwhelmingly in charge of the narratives in this country, and as I mean, a result, what everyone mad? thinks in this country... How is this different from Trayvon Martin? Because Trayvon Martin... Oh, God. Uh, do we really have to go over each and every one of these? So, uh, Trayvon Martin was murdered by George Zimmerman, who was, and that murder was largely stayed in prominence because George Zimmerman lied repeatedly about the events that took place, misrepresented the story, and went in a fucking media circuit describing his... Um, 
describing his take on the events. Uh, George, he has literally auctioned off the guns he used to kill the young that Trayvon Martin. Like George Zimmerman, if jo if it was just a random fucking murder, it never would have been. He wasn't arrested for a while after the murder. It's like it's not like this. These aren't even remotely comparable. He wasn't ever even convicted. Uh, but it's arguable that the state overcharged him, so that might have been the fault of the prosecutor. Also, here's another hot tip. You know why all these black deaths end up getting so much media attention? Because conservatives immediately go to work dehumanizing the black boy. That's why. Like, you guys make it bad. Every single fucking time a black kid gets killed by a non-black person, you people immediately take to the fucking Fox News comment section and Facebook posts, talking about how he was no angel, how he deserved it, how he was a thug, how he was a piece of shit, start spam posting pictures of him doing a gang sign for a MySpace profile picture that he did back in 2005. You guys escalate everything. It's insane. You are your own worst enemy, and you're going to lose every time because the entire history of this country has been people who believe the things you believe being trampled over by the good sense of the majority. But you keep making yourselves the victim here. You keep making yourselves the target. If it weren't for you people turning jo uh, uh, Trayvon Martin's murder into a fucking media spectacle, if it weren't for George Zimmerman's insane fucking narcissism, I imagine people wouldn't have given a shit about Trayvon Martin. If George Zimmerman had just been arrested and then charged with a lower crime, gone to jail for six years, th like, that's it. Easy peasy, simple, simple as that. But you gotta, you, every time, you gotta make it a thing. That a case like this is completely ignored, specifically because it was a black man murdering a young white boy. Whoa, got any evidence for that highly conspiratorial claim, my dude? A child. And so when the silent majority disappears as our older generations leave us and the generations replacing them are being indoctrinated by these narratives from infancy throughout their lives. What narratives? They're now the majority of the electorate. What then? It's over then. We will have the ultimate illusion of choice. You know, sure, we're all going to get to cast our vote because everyone's voice counts and, and we all get to pick where we get our information from because it's a citizen's duty to be informed, but it won't matter. It will be a one party what? state. You what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah, the, this kid is, yeah, he's, I'm pretty sure he's just priming his audience for fascism. First of all, I fucking wish conservatives were the silent majority. Holy fuck. Why can't they shut up? Uh, second of all, um, yeah, he's, like, all of his little interim bits here where he's talking about how, like, it won't matter, democracy will fail us. I mean, he's pretty much just advocating for a civil war, yeah. Damn, John, aren't you, like, 20 or something? You're a little bit young to be going the full fascist route. If you really, like... Man, how far people fall. You will have the Democratic Socialists and you will have the Liberal Republicans who will appear to be right wing by comparison. Ah, uh, yes. The Republican Party has definitely moved further to the left over the past 40 years. That's where the Republicans have gone. Even though all measurable information indicates that the Democrats are moving left and the Republicans moving right. <sighs> The point is that winning elections isn't enough. We have to actually take control of the culture. It is the only mm. way. Otherwise, our window to win elections is only going to be open for about 10 more years. If a story is unbelievably evil and shocking is... Canon Hinnant, ABC News. When did this video come out? August 13th, 2020. And today is the 19th, which means that seven days ago would have been before he released this video. But seven days ago, an in insider pack, uh, inside pack sports. Oh, is this a forum post? Okay, that doesn't really count. I wonder why this isn't plastered all over the news. It looks like back then, a lot of the, um, a lot of the posts were just forum posts asking for more media attention. It's the top one. Yeah, I'm not looking for the top one. I'm looking for ones that are more than seven days ago. I can see this here. But this came out after John Doyle made the video. Oh, he put the quotes here, I see. Wait, he didn't put the quotes in some of them, but he put the quotes around a couple other ones. Huh. Local news covered it a lot. Yeah, what is local news? Where, what district is, in, is this in? Hold on. Canon... Here, we can settle this right now. How much media attention was there on this subject seven days ago? Uh, where's the advanced search? Tools. 
custom range. Okay, so we want this from, let's just go 08, 01, 20, to seven days ago, which would be the 12th. ABC 11, uh, uh, coverage, New York Post, KBTX, Fox 59, WSET, People.com, okay, that's a fairly prominent site, CBS 17, AP News, WSPA, Wilson Times, Fox News? No way, really? From Fox News. Published August 11th. This was before the video came out. Oh, I'm... You're right. I'm sorry. Just a bevel of local media covering a local murder that was uneventful in every other way, including, you know, Fox News. Jesus Christ. So, again, I don't think this murder, like, deserves a fucking global response, but there was clearly media coverage of it locally after it took place. Fox 40, Fox 13 News. Oh, wait, that was six hours ago. WMBF News. Independent.co.uk. Man, we even have fucking UK websites coming in on it. So, was, uh, so he's literally just molding that there wasn't a CNN article on it? Is that it? Is that the only real accusation here? There wasn't a fucking CNN article on it, and that's why he's acting as though nobody gave this any attention? Yeah, okay, so that's it. All right, well, there you go. I'm, re I'm super sorry there wasn't a CNN article on one of the many murders that takes place in the United States that year. This can't get covered because to do so would jeopardize the narrative. What you narrative? You forget just begging for diversity of thought because they don't care. And they probably would have cared at least a little bit if the murderer were a white guy. Like, hey, look at this. Look, this was really sad. And then people would be like, wow, white people are the worst. What else? Do you have any evidence for that? Is that what happens when a white person killed a, kills another white person? Is that typically what takes place? That peop the narrative is people looking at it and going, wow, white people are the worst. That's what happens when a white person kills a white person. God, the victim complex in these people is fucking crazy. Holy shit. John, my friend, do you think that your blood pressure might be at a little bit healthier of a level if you didn't assume that every single thing that you don't like didn't happen because there was a media conspiracy against you? What is the narrative? You know, from just from like a video editing perspective, you should probably tell people what the narrative is. If, the, if that's the, you know, the line you're going to be pushing else is new but to even acknowledge that black people do things like this just like white people and actually even more than white people would undermine the narrative that black people are the eternal victims in ah, there it is the black crime rate argument the narrative that black people don't commit crime that narrative that i hear all over the place from sites such as and news publications such as And others. Oh yeah, that's a big narrative that I hear all over the place. That black people are the eternal victims. You know, you can actually be the victim of systemic discrimination and also commit more crime. In fact, those two things correlate pretty heavily. Because if you're discriminated against in a wide variety of political and economic ways, you're subject to social conditions that increase criminality. Generally speaking, Wealth and access to higher education don't make people commit more crime. In society at the hands of white people who are the eternal oppressors. That's what this is about. This is about preserving the Black Lives Matter narrative. This is about keeping the spotlight and national conversation on George Floyd. But let's compare these cases. I think it's fair to say that things can be tragic and, and things can be more tragic than other things, and particularly with deaths. I think a lot of that is weighted on who the person is, what their character was like, and also the- No, actually. How, uh, how angry people get at a police killing has nothing to do with the character. Ooh, now we get the he was no angel arguments. He's running through every single white supremacist uh, talking point here. 
Very nice. Oh, yeah, that's why people got upset when George Floyd was murdered by a police officer and the murderer wasn't even charged immediately and the mainstream news was flooded with conservatives justifying his death. It was because George Floyd was such a nice guy. This is the shit that people like Candace Owens constantly push. Like, oh, yeah, George Floyd didn't deserve to die, but he was no angel. And then that extra, like, uh, body cam footage was leaked by one of those news sites that showed absolutely nothing except for the fact that George Floyd was anxious and fidgety. And people are like, ah, nope, never mind. He deserved to die. Ha! Well, he was no angel and he deserved to die. Whoops! These circumstances surrounding their death. And so with George Floyd, we're told by the supposedly reasonable people that, you know, even if he's not the angel that he's being purported to be, the circumstances of the death are still tragic. It's like, okay. It, I don't use the term tragic when I describe stuff like this. I don't know. Tragic is a very weirdly, like, narrative rule. Like, it's a very narrative term to use when it comes to fighting systemic injustice. Were they more tragic than being executed at point blank range Doesn't in front of your sisters at matter. five years old? No, no, they weren't. But what about the people? Okay, well, one was what? a perfectly happy. Literally, let. Ooh, well, what about their moral character? You don't know anything about this five year old white kid, okay? What if he was a little piece of shit? You don't know. What if he fucking peed on people? You have no idea. You have no idea how many times he peed on other people. Happy, wonderful five-year-old boy who probably would avoid stepping on a ladybug if it weren't his- But George Floyd was a drug-addicted criminal. Yeah, again, this is completely irrelevant, but not you're going through the he was no angel argument. I like how he, he pre- listen how, listen how he uh, uh, prompts this. Point blank range in front of your sisters. It's tragic. It's like, okay. You know, even if he's not the angel that he's being purported to be, the circumstances of the death are still tragic. See, right here, he prompts the he was no angel conversation. Um, by saying, well, maybe the circumstances of the death were tragic. And then he doesn't talk about the circumstances of the death. He talks about the character um, of the people who died. It's like, it's like a five-year-old boy. Like, they're barely even capable of making moral decisions yet. It's like, okay. No, they probably would avoid stepping on a ladybug if it weren't in his what, past. What is this? You would avoid stepping on a ladybug? What the fuck is this narrativization, dude? This beautiful angel who would never hurt a fly. What the fuck are you going on about, dude? Holy shit. You are LARPing so fucking hard. It's just a boy. It's just a five-year-old boy. You don't know anything else. He's probably cool. I don't know. I like kids. They're cool. What, what, what else? And the other was a middle-aged, degenerate, De drug-addicted... Degenerate. Ooh, we're laying it out. Give it to me. ...criminal who robbed pregnant women at gunpoint and elected to point the weapon at their in utero child... Damn. ...and who also starred in amateur pornography. Now... Oh, whoa. Is there a problem with that one? Judging... He does think there's a problem with that one. Judging by the national outrage, judging by the cities that were burned, you would think... Cities that were burned, because a couple of blocks caught fire in Minneapolis and there were some property damage in other cities. Cities that were burned. My God, these fucking drama students. These theater kids. Good Lord. Um, anyway, uh, once again, the response doesn't really uh, come in proportion to the morality of the person who was killed. You know, it also wouldn't have mattered if Rosa Parks was like a huge piece of shit. The, the prompting there still would have been valid. Think. You would think that George Floyd's death was more tragic, but after breaking it down, I think it's safe to say that Cannon Hinnon's death- God, I wish I could debate him. Is there anything worth uh, still looking at this, um, like this video for? So this is just like, uh, nobody covered it except for the people who did and were the victims and they didn't cover it because he was white and he's killed by a black guy even though I have no evidence and I'm completely race baiting with literally no fucking evidence whatsoever and also people definitely prompt civil movements based on the moral character of the people who are unjustly killed it wouldn't matter if George Floyd had pulled the trigger on that little fucking in utero baby and killed it and the mother if George Floyd was a free citizen walking out amongst the street and he had happened to him what happened to him by those police officers that still would have been injustice worth throwing a riot over. Absolutely, yeah. This is more of a tragedy than George Floyd's death. Cannon Hinnant is more of a tra- Are we- The way that they regard life is of conditional value, and maybe with abortion, they had to be completely swept under the rug. This was- Wait, how can this motherfucker just say that they- what we value life conditionally when he just said that George Floyd's death wasn't as big of a deal because he was a degenerate? Wait, how the fuck can he make these points, like, sequentially? Not a coincidence. These people communicate. They have editorial meetings. And they have official decisions to blacklist, categorically, stories like this. Because reporting on them and providing- Do you have proof of that? Or are you just as- Ooh, wait, who are the people? Wait, hmm. 
Who are these media moguls who are uh, collaborating with one another to silence the narrative that uh, black people also do crime? Uh, you know, a little known secret of American culture. Adding truth to the American people would undermine their manufactured narrative. So mm, the who, when they say they, black lives yeah. matter, uh, they don't just mean that black lives matter. Like, of course, black lives matter. No one disputes that. What they really mean. You literally just said that it wasn't as big of a deal that George Floyd died because he was a degenerate porn star criminal thug. Like, you literally just did that. At, people dispute that shit all the time. Anytime a black guy dies, people like you immediately run online to justify it. Remember Eric Garner? Holy shit, I can't believe people, like, unironically. Not only did people defend the police officers who killed Eric Garner, the New York City Police Department wore a bunch of shirts saying, I can breathe, and did a protest. A protest how mean people were being to them, that four of them murdered somebody for selling loose cigarettes. They all had spent thousands of dollars on custom-made clothing so they could mock the last words of a man they murdered for selling loose cigarettes. So, yeah, no, I don't really buy the whole everyone accepts Black Lives Matter narrative. That wasn't just random dipshits online. That was the New York City Police Department. You guys fucking hate black people. Why don't you just own up to it? Why do you got to be such pussies about it? ...is that Black Lives Matter because they are black. White lives don't matter simply because they are white. And unless they can be used to propel the narrative, they don't matter at all. That's... Do you think this video will end, um without him giving the okay sign and saying it's okay to be white. That's the message. That's the most tragic thing about this whole thing. That Canon Hinnant doesn't get to be remembered. He won't get a mural because he is- He is nearly a million has been raised for his family. Wait, do you think every murder victim deserves a mural? What the f- God, I wish I could debate John Floyd on this. The shit he's saying is so unbelievably stupid. I could hold him to every single fucking point. Oh, God, it's so frustrating. Because I, I know I could. Uh, earlier on in my career, when I made fun of... Did I say John Floyd? Oh, God, I can't listen. <laughs> John Doyle. Um, earlier on in my career, we were going to debate, like, in person or something. But then he backed out because I was mean to him or whatever. But then he unblocked me on Twitter recently to ask me to change a video title in one of my earlier videos to not call him a Nazi. And I did because he asked nicely. and I just changed it to, like, dipshit or something like that. He asked nicely. I mean, okay, I usually do that courtesy for people who dislike my coverage of them. But you're making it really difficult for me right now, John. You're, you're, making, it, you're making it very difficult for me to believe that it, that was a legitimate request on your part. Because this, this is indistinguishable between this and like a Vincent James video, honestly. The diff yeah, John soiled himself. The difference is, the only difference between this and a Vincent James video is that at the end he would do his best happy merchant impression while talking about the media elites. That's the only difference. He acknowledges the JQ. ...is white, and because his death is inconvenient to the current narratives, and I've been very careful here because, you know, I don't want people to take what I'm saying in a negative or a hateful way because... <laughs> hey, John. I don't, have to, I don't have to take any precautions in any of my videos to avoid accidentally espousing neo-Nazi talking points. Your uh, proximity to those talking points is a little bit suspect, my friend. It's not intended to be that way, but I have to ask, how is your day going to change today because of this? Like, how much longer are we going to read about things like this and just go, hmm, that's a shame, and then do nothing about it? About what? What, the black crime? Wait, what are you even referring to? He's so fucking vague on purpose. Is he talking about black people? Is he talking about the black crime rate? Is he talking about the murder? Dude, you know murder is already illegal, right? What he's signaling at is a race war right now. That's what he's signaling at. That's why he doesn't say about the number of black people committing crimes. He's just talking about a race war. Like, where's our outrage? Why don't we flood the streets surrounding the headquarters of these propagandists and demand that they submit to our narrative? What, what's your narrative? Which used to go by simply the truth. But I'm not advocating for anything like that. I would never encourage unlicensed demonstrations because not only could that get me kicked off YouTube, it's just, it's just plain wrong. The, he's doing the in Minecraft bit. What? We should go to these Jew-owned media corporations and show them how powerful white people can be when we're fighting for our narrative. But of course, you know, we shouldn't do that. We, <laughs> that'd be crazy. We shouldn't do that. Come on, wait, dude. You're just... You're doing the, the in Minecraft meme, except I do it as a meme. 
You know, if this were Black Lives Matter, they'd probably walk into the offices of the places suppressing this story and wreak havoc. But again, we're not them. Is that so? Wait, you just said we should do that, though. Are you just mad that we have bigger balls than you or what? Like, is that what you're upset about? You're like, we should do this, but we shouldn't do this. And then it's like, well, the Black Lives Matter people would do this. Like, OK, sh yeah, we're cool. What do you mean? We don't want to be like them. We don't want to be off-putting. We don't want to be destructive. We don't want to be effective. So don't do that. It's all a joke. I disavow that. But <laughs> what you can do is you can donate to the family. There uh, were a few fake GoFundMe set up initially, but this is the one that's real um, as confirmed by all the local news outlets covering the story. So as of right now, it's raised about $132,000 for the family. And of course, money will never replace the child. But what it will do, even ignoring that money is always helpful for a family with children to feed, um, is that it will show them that there are people out there who are there for them. And if George Floyd's family can get... As opposed to the previous narrative, which was that the whole world didn't care their kid was dead. What? The, uh, I think they've raised nearly a million for the family now, and that is a good thing. I mean, if people want to donate money to help a grieving family, I think that's, I think that's a good... I mean, it's m mostly being done by people who think they're sticking it to BLM, so it's a dumb reason, but I'm glad they're doing it, I guess. Also, the mom doesn't seem to be, like, buying this race war shit, so all it is is the expropriation of wealth from white supremacist to a non-white supremacist. So... Hold on. Sucka Mehu. Do you think every white person who thinks this way is a Nazi slash white supremacist? I have friends who have said similar things and I don't think they are. Uh, what Doyle's doing here? Yes, absolutely. This is not like light conservative shit. He's alluding to a media conspiracy. He's alluding to a race war. He's talking about how the narrative is that white lives don't matter. He's talking about how, um... Uh, 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 George Floyd was a degenerate whose death didn't mean as much because he did porn. Uh, he's talking about how um, the media isn't willing to acknowledge black crime. This is not like an, just a standard conservative thing. This is, this is, these are Nazi talking points, except he never said race war and he never said Jews. If he had said race war instead of implying it and said Jews instead of them, this would be indistinguishable from any of the dozens and dozens of Nazi videos on this subject on BitChute. $15 million, then they should be able to get some money as well, which will hopefully make this time a little bit easier for them. So please go donate to them. I donated $2,500 earlier today. And Woo! Damn! Oh, it's just a lot. That's all. And I don't say that to be like, oh, look at me. Look how virtuous I am. But... That is exactly what you are doing. Don't lie. Just acknowledge your virtue signaling. It's fine, but you have to acknowledge it if you're doing that. I say that because you all know I don't make a lot of money doing YouTube. YouTube kind of doesn't like me, but it's still... <sighs> ...important that we prioritize what we're spending our money on. And I know that times are hard right now with the shutdown, so if you can't afford it, obviously... You should prioritize the necessities of your family and yourself. But please, if you can, uh, donate to his family. I'll put the link in the description and in the comments so you can, you know, donate. But uh, this that was like the double virtue signal. It wasn't um, the double. The, so the 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 reverse virtue signal would have been I donated twenty five hundred, but I'm pretty profitable. I'm pretty like wealthy thanks to YouTube. So it's not a big deal to me. I'm just doing what I can. That would have been like the 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 virtue signal but then downplaying it but what he instead did was um donate 2500 and oh i know this seems a lot but actually i'm doing this when i don't have that much money i'm not virtue signaling guys i'm just giving all this money while i don't have much thus amplifying the generosity of my donation you know this is a perfect example of a, an American family who is in need and they're going through an extraordinarily hard time right now, something that hopefully none of us will ever have to experience. But, you know, if we're not willing to help them out, if we're not willing to take that action, then what's the point of even trying to fix the country? I don't think there's necessarily a positive relationship between donating to bereaved mothers and fixing systemic issues in the country, but it's still probably a good thing to do, I guess. If the races were reversed, America would be on fire. Cities would no longer exist. Sad. God, the... <clears throat> the unbelievable snowflakery of these people. My fucking God, dude. Wouldn't be surprised if GoFundMe shuts them down for white supremacy. Would be a worldwide story if it was a little black boy who was killed. 
the fuck? He peacefully protests that child. These people are literally just Nazis. There's not, there's, there's not much ambiguity here, dude. The, these people are fucking insane. Notice how the top comments are more about sticking it to George Floyd and to BLM than they are the actual kid. They're like make they're like making it obvious in the comment section. They don't actually give a fuck about the kid. It's all about like the narrative of how BLM is violent and black people are barbarous and they have double standards and blah blah. Anyway, nice meme. Uh, John Doyle has only moved farther to the right um, uh, with time. I wonder what he means, like. Um, uh, that, that, like, YouTube doesn't like his channel? What, what the fuck does that mean? Hold on. John Doyle. I don't know. Looks, looks fine to me, I guess. I mean, he has, his, he has his peaks and he has his valleys. I mean, that's the same as anyone, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, for a while, he actually had more subs than me. Um. Oh, wait, I got a response from Hassan. Hold on. 